everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is Walking Dead Season 10, Episode Number 12. And what an interesting episode this one was. This one started off with the last episode ended with the war, um, where the Whispers and them and the herd were going after the hilltop people. Um, hilltop people, pretty much hilltop was burned to the ground. Um, and... Things went in utter chaos. They the group got separated. Carol, Eugene, and them got were with uh, Matt uh, Mako, I think her name is, and actually the returning Magna, um, who told Mako and them that um, she was separated from Connie and the herd, and she hasn't seen her. So, that's a mystery that's going to be happening, whether or not Connie is dead or not. Um, then it goes to, um, pretty much Mako, um, or Yoko. I, I'm not exactly sure what her name is, honestly. Um, but those two, her and Magna had separated, broke up, um, after she slapped Carol. Carol and Eugene kind of went off on their own. Carol killed a walker. And Eugene said is going to meet that girl, Stephanie, that he was talking to on, to on the radio and all that. And then it goes to um, Ezekiel, who was pretty much trying to get the kids out, but it didn't really work out for him. And he got taken out somehow, so Earl... The older gentleman that was with the hilltop that was taking care of that baby that the whispers took, um, had all the kids and all that, and he took them to a certain place where, um, he was trying to keep them safe. Meanwhile, while all this is going on, Eugene, or not Eugene, but Jerry, um, his wife, and Daryl, and some of the other gang members had all arrived at this, like, quote-unquote safe place that everybody was supposed to meet up at, realized that nobody else was there, so they go looking for Ezekiel and their kids. Because the plan was for if Daryl couldn't get the kids, Ezekiel would. And so they go look for him. They run into Ezekiel and realize that Earl has the kids. But meanwhile, back with Earl and them, Earl had revealed to the world, pretty much, that he was bit but during the whole apocalypse war type thing and um he was keeping the kids safe but then eugene or not eugene but judith comes in and sees that he was bit and all that and he pretty much tells her that she needed to protect everybody else what she did she ended up having to kill him when daryl and him arrived he they saved her or they saved um the kids and all that and then um, Daryl and her caught up. Meanwhile, while all this is going on, Negan actually caught up with Lydia, who we all know Alpha was, is looking for, um, and he captured her. Nobody knew what he did with her at first. Then he, or then Beta, um, runs into Aaron and uh, Mary, a.k.a. Gamma, and also Angel, I believe his name is, or her name is, but they run into them, and Adam, which is the baby, who, um, oh, Alden, that's his name, um, but Alden and them, um, pretty much Mary, or Gamma, saved Alden and them, with the whisper or with the herd and all that. She ended up killing the herd and that, but, but then Beta ended up killing her, so she ended up dying in this episode as well. Um, then, then I think Alden ended up killing her zombified self, and Beta ran off. Meanwhile, while this is going on, then it goes to Lydia tied up, and we assume that Negan and 
Alpha are about ready to go in and kill Lydia because that's what it sounds like it, that Negan was planning on doing. Um, they talk, they kiss, and then they start walking towards the shed that looked as if Lydia was tied up there. Well, Lydia ended up managing to get herself loose, and she opened up the door and realized that she was not actually where Alpha and them were. She was actually at a different one, and when Alpha opened up the door to realize that nobody was there, she turned around and looked at Negan, and Negan slit her throat, which means that Alpha is dead. So that's a bonus thing in some cases for the show because, or not for the show more so, but more so for um, Alexandria and them because the leader of the Whisperers is now gone. Um, but it, it was kind of weird to see Negan kiss her after he, he, she was already dying, but... I mean, I don't know what the next plan is, but things look like they're going to be interesting. And in the next episode, it looks as if we're going to potentially see what is going on with Michonne. Well, since she had left, remember, earlier in this season, she left and went to this one guy's camp or whatever. And it looked as if it's going to be an interesting one. But all I can say is... This tonight was an epic episode, in my personal opinion, and I think they can only go up from here, and I really am excited about things to come, but I wonder how this is this death of Alpha is going to affect the Whisperers. So, with that said, thank you guys for watching, have a great day, and next Wednesday's video of the week will be... Two matches in WWE 2K20. So you guys will not want to miss that. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.